Mount Kilimanjaro at 19,340 feet. It's the tallest mountain in Africa. And at 15,000 feet above its base, it's also the tallest freestanding mountain in the world. It's made up of three peaks. Mwenzi Peak, Kibo, the tallest of the three peaks, and the oldest of the three major peaks, Shira. Mishame Gate at about 6,000 feet was our starting point. That day we were going to climb to about 9,900 feet up to Mishame Camp. Here we signed in and gathered our guides and porters for the climb up the mountain. The key was to walk slowly. This was to avoid altitude sickness, which keeps about 70% of the people from summiting the mountain. <laughs> Mashami Camp. That evening, our drinking water gave us pause because of the can it came in. Coming up on Shira Camp. We have some um, heat packs too, Lynn, if you want to use them. I got plenty. Okay. Our lunching destination. Here we are at 14,500 feet, the elevation of Mount Whitney. Uh, on Kilimanjaro, it's not quite the same thing. It's just kind of a spot on the trail. Uh oh, we have to go a little bit further. Barranco Camp was where we lost most of the crowds. They continued along the traditional Mashame route. From here, we doubled back and continued back up to the Lava Tower, Aero Glacier Camp, and up the Western Breach route. After letting everyone else get a head start along with all their porters, it was our turn to start climbing this wall. It took several hours, and once we got to the top, all we did was turn around and come down. camp. We have a rest day here at about 14,000 feet, 13,900. Uh, tomorrow we're going to climb up to 15,000 feet and uh, today was a nice day. Hey Peggy. Joe, happy birthday. Once we got the lava tower camp, we had to climb Lava Tower, and that was a lot of fun. Another favorite activity was trying to figure out if we could even see the route up the Western Breach. Oh. 
Welcome to Lava Tower Camp, the most godforsaken camp you can imagine. It's dusty and windy and cold. We're at 15,200 feet. Well, here we are. This is Everett Glacier Camp. And it gives us a fantastic view of the 3,000 feet nearly that we have to climb tomorrow. Yeah. 17,700 feet lost higher order functions, singing Casey and Sunshine Band. Guides tell us we might be in trouble and start singing village people further up. 18,000 feet right here. Yes, indeed. Wow. a bunch of partying people and the ash pit. Coming at you from over 19,000 feet. That's the ash pit of Kilimanjaro in the back. We're now at 18,800 feet up at Crater Camp, and this is one of the nicer camps we've been to. A year earlier, this little area that I'm pointing to behind me right there had a lake that had collapsed and filled the whole area behind me with water, and that was one of the signs that the glaciers are going away. Yes, I'm ready as I'll ever be. It's going to be quite the adventure. Oh, yeah. Hey, we're up here on top of Kilimanjaro! Yay. Greetings! Yay. Woo! See? It's the tallest freestanding mountain in the world. No polo polo to burn down. Okay. Last breakfast on the mountain. Mwaka! I eat dining programs and stuff. Uh, probably a thousand points in the summer. Go out. That's the way, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Africa is filled with a lot of great memories and there was just nothing quite like summiting Mount Kilimanjaro with a group of friends. It was truly an amazing experience. <laughs>